got to bring him back. We do have to bring you back to what was maybe the best feeling movie that I have seen in a long time, and it's called Break the Mold, the Zach Bates story. I love to run. I started running in middle school. In high school, I ran for three years. My best mile was a 509. When we first got the diagnosis of autism, my approach was, how am I going to fix this? I, I guess I was kind of sad. You know, when you hear the diagnosis of autism, all kinds of things go through your mind. Okay, so this is a true story. This is a documentary. Yeah. It's not very long. It's only about an hour. Yeah. And it will inspire you. It'll make you cry tears of joy. And it might be the most positive things you've watched in a while. I know that was all those three things were true for me. Uh, it's a it's about a kid named Zach Bates who's a high school graduate from Arizona and he has autism. When he graduates high school, he tells his parents he wants to run a 100-mile race. So this documentary follows Zach as he trains for and then runs the race. And in the process, you get to know Zach, you get to know his family, you get to know the people who've been influences in his life. All the while, you're watching him train for and run a 100-mile race. Yeah. The mom is a superhero. Oh, for sure. No question. The dad, he's just a hero. Mom... Raina, she was unbelievable. And Zach is, you know, by all accounts, a smart kid. Uh, he's a twin. Yeah. And his, from what I understood, his twin brother didn't have autism. At least that's, no. I didn't get that impression from it. Right. But here's the other thing. He did run cross country. It, running was his outlet. Uh, you, you come to find out over the course of the movie that uh, running was his outlet. And when he'd get upset, sometimes he'd just run. She's like, he ran the block for three hours. He ran around the block for three straight hours. So they're like, Zach, you got to come in now. And he, he wouldn't until he actually felt better. Until he worked it out of him. So, but running a 100 mile race. Okay. So it's, I don't, I, I don't know if that's specifically an ultra marathon or if an ultra marathon's longer than that, but it's, it's certainly essentially almost four and a half times marathon that you run all at once. You run, the way this one was set up in, down in Arizona is you'd run a 20-mile loop five times. Right. And it takes, you know, 12, 15. So you do get it. You can come in, change your socks, yes. eat something. Because you're still going for an overall time, so it's like a pit stop. You are allowed to make pit stops. Yeah. But your pit stop is in the central location that you do when you finish the loop. And, there, and so for, you know, for 20 miles, which is, you know, just six miles shy of an actual marathon, um, He's on his own running. Now, the last two laps, there's a pacer that stays with him because I assume just so that it helps him keep going. Well, well one, it's in the middle of the night. Yeah, and the other is so that in case something happens to the runner, there's somebody else there with him. Right. And that's this is where some of the emotional parts come in, especially during the last two laps. When you're watching mom and dad, they don't know. I mean, if he doesn't check in with them, they don't know what he's doing, and he gets out into areas where there's no cell service. Yeah. And it just... Look, he finishes the race. I'll tell you that. But it doesn't matter if you know that watching this movie because that's when you will weep. Well, when he went back out at 80 miles, I thought, this kid Shaking. can't even walk. Shaking. He can barely walk, and he still has 20 miles through hills. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is not like some flatlander thing. It, it Unbelievable. The, it, what nailed me was the look on his face when he was able to accomplish something that was so magnificent. I, I just, well, and I, it, I did, I told it, I actually wrote Travis back and I said, dude, you didn't tell me I was going to be crying like a little dude. Yeah, and you texted me when you watched it before I did and said, oh, wow, the tears were an unexpected bonus. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'm sure. I mean, I remember getting a little teary-eyed when Jason Kelsey hugged his mom and Kelsey when he lost the Super Bowl. I remember getting a little teared up when, when these things happened. But I was not prepared for... The amount of tears that came out when he hugs his parents at the end of that race. And it was just, it, it is something, look, it's an hour long. And if you, uh, I, but you know what? I don't, you're not going to feel cheated. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. Like if you, and, and I've, I've, this is one of my favorite things that I ever heard Doug Wright say on the movie show. If you complain that Hollywood doesn't put out enough good stuff and up uplifting stuff, then you got to go see the uplifting movies when they come out. Yes. This, this is has a, a one-week run. Yes. And it's only in a couple of theaters. So look for it. Find it. It's called Breaking the, Break the Mold. Break the Mold, the Zach Bates story. See this movie. It is worth it. Take the whole family. This is something you're going to have on rotation. So Travis, show, when I talked to Travis in, in Arizona, the 
producer. He said, I didn't know how to get a hold of anybody. Thank you. But please let people know that this movie is out there. And so here we are. And this is one of those gems that come along very rarely. And you've got to see it. And we both give our highest recommendation.